Hey everybody, check out what time it is. It is our most mysterious part of the week. Are we gonna have a great week of the finals? Are we gonna get trolled by Embark? Let's check it out. So what I wanna do today, I've run through things uh, to make it a bit faster, more efficient than in the last few weeks. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run through the trailer together and then we'll get into the patch notes right after. I'll skip over maybe the, the UI or little bug fixes because I think you can discover those on your own and they do take quite some time to read through, but we will get the most essentials out of it. Let's get into it. After a season kickoff that's been full of technical surprises, we're happy to return to some festivities that'll bring us some joyous ones. Welcome to the extravaganza of Bunny Bash. Teams will compete in power shift and scramble to control the platform and hop it to their base for the win. Contestants will advance through our Easter circuit to earn exclusive spoils. On top of that, we've got special contracts to celebrate the season. Trust me, these prizes are worth the hunt. There'll be plenty of action, so don't miss out. And I'm glad we're back to the festivities that make the finals the world's greatest game show. Absolutely, Scotty. So to all our viewers at home, make sure to tune in. Happy Bunny Bash! Okay, straight away, not sure if that's going to be my favorite theme, if I'm being fully honest with you guys, but I mean, I'll take it. Um, the skins, I don't know... A they feel a bit simple this week, but I mean, if you're into bunnies and Easter, I guess that's that's going to be your thing. Right, let's get into it. I want to run through this, uh, even though there is a bit of text here, because there is some quite important information versus what we've been hearing in the last past few days. So let's get into it. So Easter is here and it's time to color some eggs and play bunny bash. During this event, you'll turn in contracts to earn prizes while ducking it out in the special version of Power Shift. The Cis Horizon map has been visited by the Easter Bunny, who has left plenty of decorations behind. You'll need to work with a limited loadout during the event, so plan wisely and, hope on the, and hop on the platform to smash your way to victory. Okay, so we've got a new mode coming in, uh, which was kind of expected. They did leave some traces of, of some bunny-type mode Easter stuff uh, that was about to drop, so no surprises here we were planning on shuffling and that's where it's the surprise is coming we were planning on shuffling a few game modes to make room for body bash but seeing the outpouring of love for banquets from the community we've decided to keep it i'm going to skip the rest just not to bore you but that was the most important information i wanted to make sure you guys have they're keeping banquets they've heard us complain about it uh, about them removing the mode so that's great news for all of us no need to worry about non-ranked modes anymore we still have this one and they're adding their Eastern Bunny uh, mode, which will definitely be a lot of fun. So now let's get into the changes. There is a big one coming up. So we've got the balancing, the KS23. They've increased the fire rate from 55 RPM to 73 RPM. That's already huge. Decreased player damage from 120 to 100. Increased environmental damage from 600 to 700. Decreased pump action animation delay from 0.2 to 0. Increased pump action animation duration from 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. Increased damage fall off start range from 15 meters to 18 meters. Decreased damage fall off end range from 50 to 23 meters. Increased the damage fall off multiplier at max range from from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6, meaning it does more damage at range. Increase the projectile speed from 200 meters per second to 300, meaning players need to lead meaning players need to lead targets less now. Decrease bullet dispersion when firing from the hip while crouching, standing and running, making the weapon more accurate and reliable. So already that's that's quite huge. Like we can clearly see where they're going with this. They're pushing this gun for, for the next upcoming few weeks. So don't hesitate to go test it out. This is probably gonna be, if not in the meta, very close to it. Um, and then the second one is also quite important to hear. The FCAR, they've adjusted the recoil pattern to make the weapon slightly less easy to control and decrease the damage fall of multiplier at max range from 0.67 to 0.5, meaning it does less damage at long range. So this is a bit weird because um, upon the release of season two, they did increase the damage at long range and it seemed that that's where they were going with it. Maybe they felt it was too reliable now. Like I, I will give them the fact that the F car was quite strong and they've actually buffed it last time. So that was a bit of a surprise, but let's, uh, I'll be excited to test it out in the game to see um, to see if it's still meta or not. I would say that the change shouldn't be that strong, but we're going to be probably rolling back to what we felt like was the state of the gun on season one. Then, very important, the famous adjusted recoil pattern to make the weapon slightly easier, easier to control. Also very important, the famous was just not there right now. Considering the, the sights you have to use on the gun, I think it was 
it just needed a bit more stability so le let's hope this is it we'll see same for the 93r increase the fire rate from 240 rpm to 260 that's a very good upgrade for the gun it's going to push the light class a bit more and when you were using the gun you did feel like there was a weird delay between each series of shots and this it's probably going to solve that and then another very weird move here the glitch trap and the glitch grenade have been reduced the duration of the glitch effect from 10 to 5 seconds with no buff whatsoever on the side so they've just completely destroyed the glitch trap and the glitch grenade right after buffing it so i don't know where this is going i have I, I don't know guys we'll see this is this is a hard hit for the light class if, if we're being honest and 10 seconds to 5 seconds that is a huge nerf um, alright so as I said we will skip through this because it's never that important for most of us we don't even see these things let's get to the maps so Las Vegas fixed the blurry the finals branding decal collision fix on the entrance of Arden Casino great uh, always improving the smoothness of the map I think that's important practice range updated the season one leaderboard trophy okay Cis Horizon fixed an issue where players were able to shoot through a wall at the entrance of the museum fix for flickering lights and reflection issues fixed an issue where players could hide inside geometry above the workspace building we actually had a match yesterday on the live where this happened to us and it, it, it was quite frustrating so happy to see that already implemented then we've got for sale destruction balancing and fixed an issue where players could spawn separately from their team okay good skyway stadium tweaked spawns to reduce spawns camping from the office building in final round okay that is also good uh, we want to avoid camping as much as possible and i feel like the, the finals is dynamic enough for us not to have to face too much of those problems so great to hear that then regarding the game mode which is another big chunk of this week's update we've got the cash out it is available in the quick play menu and available in private matches awesome power shift flash the platform lights between the team colors when both teams are on the platform fixed an issue where statues could bounce around more than intended on the platform reduce the max angle that the platform can sway from 25 degrees to 15 degrees to make it easier to interact with statues and gadgets okay so probably little fixes we won't see the difference too much but it just makes the, the game mode just a bit more fun and then unranked tournament has been removed for now as they had announced uh, i think it was on discord two or three days ago if I'm being honest, I barely ever played this mode. I haven't heard feedback from you guys that you were too disappointed about it. So I'm just going to move forward. I think it, it is fine as it is. Would rather do the ranked tournament uh, considering the time it takes per, per match. So let's see if the community is okay with it moving forward. And then for the bunny bash, it is now available for a limited time. So please hop on the game. Go have fun. Hop on the game. You saw what I did there. Go have fun. It's, it's probably a very cool mode. Uh, we're going to go test it out right on stream tonight and then gameplay for gameplay we've got zip lines fixed an issue when jumping and interacting on the same frame led to an instant detaching made so that zip lines can be destroyed from the bottom end that's interesting that's going to make zip lines much more meta for sure charge and slam fixed cases where the slam would trigger instead of the charge when close to the ground dome shield fixed so that the outline color is correct mesh shield improved the effect for indicating the shield is about to break that's that's really good actually um because sometimes it's it's just not very clear like you just shoot through and until it's like really shaky you don't really know like the the life left of the of the shield then glitch grenade fixed to stop them from exploding on friendly shields that's quite surprising i had no idea they they exploded on friendly shields okay good anti-gravity cube added outline and team color awesome so that was quite weird as it stands like you have no idea who threw it and then you have no idea what the intent of the thrower was gateways to deploy without enough clearance above them fixed an issue where there was no distance limit for the gateway gadget i've actually felt that i uh, i had a guy in the team on the stream a few days back who seemed to be just like rolling with it through the entire map as far as my understanding it is supposed to be limited to 70 meters so i guess it is now fixed defib revives fixed an issue where abilities could be activated while being defib revived so that's what we talked about last week they they already had fixed the mesh shield that could be thrown while being revived but there were other abilities that could be used as for example the the jump pad that you could put down while being revived so that seems to have been fixed finally 
and then fixed an issue where players could be stunned and glitched while being defib revived. They don't know that, but that's uh, another good fix. Canisters fixed an issue where canisters could be teleported when picked up. And then spawning increased invulnerability for players who just spawned, not revives. All right. Finally, the battle pass and the animation. So they've updated the total experience required to unlock each level to match our intended design. Early levels will now cost 6k instead of 9k. Later levels will cost 12k instead of 9k. And levels in the middle will remain the same. This means you might see battle pass levels with strange progress number, which self adjust after your your first game played this update. It also means that some of you may unlock new levels at once after your first match in this update. That's good because it did feel a bit slow uh, to start through the first levels, so that's going to help for most people to reach probably uh, the, the later parts of the battle pass. That's a great thing. And then lastly, animation. Fixed an issue where hands were not aligned to the gateway gadget in first person. Fixed an issue where throw animation wouldn't cancel properly when triggering charge and slam. And then fixed bullet animation for the 93R when reloading and inspecting. Improved sprinting animation while holding the pad in third person. That is it for this week, my guys. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you on the next one.